Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, f- for you, obviously, a guy like Uzi is, you know, if he's on a show, he's headlining the fucking rolling out. He's, mm-hmm. he's, he is having a moment. Yeah. Again. For sure. <laughs> over and over, he has these moments where it's like, no, Uzi's fucking a superstar, rock star, for real, for real. Um, you guys had kind of gotten to like a weird patch in your relationship, mm-hmm. which I'm sure happens a lot mm-hmm. when artists sign and like, I, I sympathize with kind of the label side, because it's mm. like, you know, you put all these resources behind mm-hmm. the guy, you kind of put it, put all the chips onto somebody, and once they pop, mm-hmm. you know, they start to be like, well, you know, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. You guys seem to have gotten over whatever weird hump you had, because I see pictures of you guys together. What's your guys' relationship now? It's great. Um, we got over the hump, you know, we, we're back in a in a, a, a great working space and a great personal space. Um, him and Cannon have been working, you know, very, very hard on the pink tape. Um, looking forward to that. And, you know, like it, it like it's family's bicker, you know what I'm saying? And like you said, like, you know, sometimes it plays out in the public, sometimes it doesn't. And, you know, like for us, you know, obviously again, like you said, we've put so much time and invested so much and like you know, his success is our success. Mm-hmm. So even at a space and time where we may differ or, you know, I don't agree or have another opinion on it, it's like, it's it's a rock and a hard place because it's like, you know. The you, bigger he is, the better it is for absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of like you just got to, you know, roll with the punches and, and, you know, keep putting that work in. You know, obviously for us, a great thing that happened too what uh, when we were getting a lot of the the uh brunt of the you know bad publicity or bad press like with the rock nation situation and all that shit it was like jack harlow came and it was like oh okay these guys really know what they're doing like shout out to Sadie hendrix too man. you know what i'm saying so you know and we've we've been quite successful and you know what i mean um and and honestly, like I've been in the game so long, and it's like I've weathered so many storms. So even with the verse shit, it's like you know, I'm you 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 hope and you you know foresee like yo, we'll get past this. What was like the catalyst to you guys kind of repairing the relationship? Um, time. Yeah, yeah, time. It was you know, just coming you know coming back, and you know, I guess just like. After a couple years of of things kind of like letting it play out, it just you know we got back in a good space. And again, you know we were we were moving and grooving like generation now. Like you see this guy right here, Jack Harlow. <laughs> we got some things going. I never on. understood the Rock Nation <laughs> thing because I always like thought to myself like it's not like you Lake and Don Cannon aren't of the culture. And say, aren't say, who the fuck you are. Say it again. So say, I was like, yo, say why, it again. Why aren't why is it Rock Nation that trying to pull people out of deals from like actual culture vultures? <laughs> say it again. Like you're DJ drama. <laughs> like, like you're trying to fucking pull my guy out of like like he's like he found this kid. You know what I'm saying? Like DJ Drama did not pay bootleg Kev <laughs> to make such an accurate statement. <laughs> no, nah, as soon as that happened, I was like. <laughs> There's people Bro, who, you, who you should advocate to get out of deals. Say it again. But we're talking about Don Cannon, Drama, and Lake? Come on, bro. Like, three young, black, successful men who met in college at the ages of 18 and 19, HBCUs, by the way, and made a name for themselves within hip-hop culture for two decades, paving the way and putting on and providing for the culture mm. like huh yeah of anybody that should have been embraced or it should have the the way it played out that like i didn't see them like advocating that. to like get uh, meek mill released off at atlantic after he complained about how he didn't like his deal <laughs> right oh my fucking this shit doesn't add up anyway shout out to uzi he's a fucking legend absolutely 